This is the most miserable happy hour I've ever seen. And I think I know why. This girl's pig in a blanket has 70 calories and six grams of fat for just one of them. And this chick's strawberry daiquiri has 600 calories. But if I replace them with hungry girl swaps, now it's happy hour. And there's more where that came from with my savory sweet hot steak bites, super easy deep pudged pigs in a blanket, exploding chicken taquitos that are spicy and satisfying, and of course there are drinks, including my slammin' slim down strawberry daiquiri, and my kickin' cranberry Cosmo. All that and my bar snack survival guide. I'm Lisa Lillian, better known as Hungry Girl, keeping it guilt-free and delicious. It's a hungry world. I'm so hungry. Today's show is all about happy hour and ways to enjoy cocktails and appetizers guilt-free. First recipe today is called Sweet Hot Steak Bites. I love steak. I'm a protein lover. I love meat. I love filet. So out of the fridge is my filet. We have one pound of filet mignon that we need for this recipe. So we want to cut this steak into about 30 pieces. Look at how lean that is. That's why I love filet mignon. It's the leanest of all steak cuts. I've been eating filet since I was like six years old. I was the kid that would, would order the filet when everyone else was ordering burgers and hot dogs and gotta love my dad for being okay with that. Thank you, dad. I'm gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces. And those are gonna be our bites for the sweet hot steak bites. And this recipe is made in a crock pot. Gotta love those crock pot recipes. You just throw everybody in there and let them sit and cook. Four hours later, there it is. Okay, we've got our cubes. Fantastic. Okay, and then we're gonna season that after I wash my hands. Always season your beef before you cook it. Give it some nice flavor, some pepper and some salt. And now we are ready to build this crock pot. This is a can, an eight ounce can of crushed pineapple that I'm gonna lightly drain. I wanna keep some of that juice in there for flavor, it's very sweet. Next, this is light soy sauce. It's a little bit lower in sodium than the regular stuff. Only need a half a teaspoon of that to give it a nice salty Asian flavor. Another one of my favorite ingredients, sweet Asian chili sauce. This stuff is so gooey and sweet and delicious. You need a third of a cup of this. I love fruity, sweet meat recipes. And this, these are red pepper flakes. These are pretty spicy. About a quarter teaspoon, or if you're really brave and you like it spicy, you can add a little more. I like spicy, I'm gonna add a little more. Give this a stir. And now we gotta get all of this stuff into the pot. Our filet. And now, this is one chopped onion. One whole onion that has been chopped. I love delicious flavor of the onions with the meat and the fruit. This works so well together. And it's a really good low calorie recipe. Thanks to that filet, it's nice and lean. Okay. The party is starting for these guys. They're all getting to know each other in there. Looking pretty good together. Stirring that up. And it is as easy as that. Now we cover this up. Turn the slow cooker on to high. You wanna cook this for four hours and let it go. I'll see you later. Okay, moving on to my slammin' slim down strawberry daiquiri. Strawberry daiquiris, they can have 600 calories. You know, the ones you get at restaurants, at pools when you're on vacation, 600, 650 calories, which is criminal. My slammin' slim down strawberry daiquiri, 120 calories. Starts off with some sugar-free strawberry drink mix powder. Get that in there. I'm gonna add a half a cup of cold water to that. Now a shot of rum. Some would say the best ingredient in this drink. I like light rum, some people like dark rum. That works too. And a half ounce of lime juice. Squeeze that in there. Okay, two more things on the way. Got three frozen strawberries. These have no sugar added. They're kind of like strawberry ice cubes. 
This drink's gonna be so perfectly slushy you won't believe it. Just like the ones you get when you're on vacation or at your favorite restaurant. About five to eight full ice cubes. I'm adding a little more because mine are somewhat crushed. And that is it. That is all we need. This right here is gonna turn into an awesome daiquiri. Just blend that in your favorite blender for about 30 to 45 seconds until it is fully blended and slush-tastic, as I like to call it. Look at that. <sighs> that strawberry smell, thumbs up. This is incredible. There is no difference between this and a 600 calorie version and only 120 calories. Do you see how easy that is? You know, it's not always easy to know how many calories are in your drinks, and that can make some happy hours unhappy. Hi, we are here at one of my favorite bars, and I am gonna challenge a real Hungry Girl fan and see how much she knows about the calorie counts of some popular drinks. Meet Ricky. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> I am good. Now, so you like to go out and drink every now and then? Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> now, do you count calories when you go out drinking? No. <laughs> it's tough, you know, they can yeah. really add up. Yeah. But we're gonna find out how much you know about the following drinks, okay? Okay. We've got a Cosmo, okay. white wine, a mudslide, light beer, and a frozen strawberry margarita. Now, you know what you have to do. You have to take these cards, they're numbered one through five, okay. and you wanna put them in order from lowest to highest calorie amounts. So number one has the lowest amount of calories, number five, the highest. Okay. You think you can do it? I think so. Okay, good luck. There's Wait. 15 seconds on the clock. Okay. And go. Okay. Uh... Woo! Uh... When we come back, we're gonna find out just how much Ricky knows about her booze. Next, I reveal the results of my drinking game. Then, I make my 100 calorie Cosmo. It is a total calorie bargain. Oh, it's really good. Can I have some? Yeah. Thank you. And I put my Hungry Girl spin on one of my all-time favorites, Pigs in a Blanket. You would never know these are guilt-free, not in any way. And later, I'm setting off my exploding chicken taquitos. Blammo! This program is brought to you calories of all we are back with Ricky who tried to put five popular drinks in order from lowest to highest calorie counts so how do you think you did Ricky I'm not sure <laughs> not an easy task I saw you scrambling there a little bit but let us see how you did right now okay starting with the Cosmo which you thought was the lowest in calories of all five drinks the Cosmo actually has 250 calories, and the drink ranking is three. Oops. So <laughs> close, but you got that one wrong. Next, white wine, which you put at number three. White wine actually has 130 calories. Drink ranking, one, which means it is the lowest in calories of all of these drinks. Next, mudslide, which you put at number five. It does not look low in calories in any way. That mudslide has 700 shockingly alarming calories. So you are right, that drink ranking is number five. Woo! One for three, we're doing better. Light beer, which is actually your number two pick. 150 calories, drink ranking is number two. We're two out of four, good work. <laughs> cool. And finally, a frozen strawberry margarita, which you put at number four. Calorie count is 350, and the drink ranking is four. Yay! Okay, you got three out of five. I'll take it. High five. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> and for your efforts, you know what I'm going to do for you? What? I am going to make you a Cosmo that has less than half the calories of this Cosmo here. You ready for my 100 calorie Cosmo? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Now I'm going to make Ricky my kickin' cranberry Cosmo. Now this only has 100 calories, and it is so easy to make. Start with a nice felt shaker, and the key here is this diet cranberry juice. You don't need all the calories and all the sugar from regular cranberry juice. That's where most of the calories come from in a regular Cosmo, so that's five ounces of this very low calorie cranberry juice. And now, very important ingredient, a shot of vodka, about a teaspoon of lime. Just need a little bit to get that tang and tartness. And a shake, shake, shake. And now we pour. Look how good that looks. It does. All right, Ricky, you have earned this. Bottoms up. Enjoy. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, 
It's really good. 